everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my March update in my rolling five pan project pan. I am so excited to share this month's update with you and share all the progress that I've made so far on the five products that I'm working on. But before we jump into the update, I wanted to quickly talk through how this project works in case you have not watched one of these videos from me before. A lot of what you will see on my channel in terms of my long form content is project panning videos and this project is very much like the classic like forefront of those projects and it is my rolling style five pan project pan which means I work on five products at a time they range from kind of whatever I want to choose at that time in my collection I have a planning to pan video that I did either at the beginning of 2024 or at the end of 2023 talking about all the products I want to pan this year and at some point I expect all of them to come into this project unless I pan them somehow outside of this project. Right now I'm working on a variety of different products and my goal is to use them until I finish them and that's pretty much it. It's just a way to get me focused on a group of products and working on them until I use them up. Some of these products I have worked on in previous project pans and some of these I've never really focused on before and have just kind of picked them up and put them into this project for one reason or another. And I track all my usage so I count how many times I use the product in the month and then when I come on and film these videos I weigh the products and then I also film like the actual product itself and show you the progress clips so you can see how much product I'm using up on a monthly basis. I do want to caveat in saying I am still on maternity leave. I'm coming up on my last month and because of that I really haven't been wearing a ton of makeup which means I haven't been making the amount of progress that you probably have become used to seeing from me and my channel but that's just real life and that's where we're at. I'll be going back to work in the beginning of April and be probably wearing more makeup because I go into the office three days a week. So I expect the progress to pick up but we will see. Speaking of maternity leave I I can't believe that it's coming to a close it just it's so crazy to me that I've been off of work now for almost five months that's it's four and a half a little bit more than four and a half months now and it's been the fastest four and a half months of my life having two children definitely makes the time fly and I've enjoyed every single second of being with my little one and I'm so grateful for having the time that I will have with him I think I'll be like a week shy of six months with him but it's just never enough you know, I could go on and on about that, but we will leave that there <laughs> and just say that I expect, probably not in my next update, but in my next update, so my May update, to see a different type of progress than probably like my first few updates because like I said, I'll be wearing makeup more. All right, so leaving that there, let's go ahead and dive into the products. I'm gonna start with my most used product, which is my Fenty lip gloss in the shade Fussy. I used this 22 times. And last month I was at the N in Fenty and now I'm down around the Y in Fenty where the product is settling. So definitely making some good progress on this one. I am wearing it way more than like I would wear anything else in this project because I can pick this up and put this on really any time of day and I don't need to be like wearing makeup like I would for some of these other products plus I can reapply it. I was able to get significantly more usage on this one and I feel like we're getting close to halfway which is super exciting. I love this gloss like this one is just it's easy to use. I think it looks great like layered on top of lipstick how I'm wearing it today but I also like to just wear it on its own. I feel like it looks fine when I literally have no makeup on and I'm just putting it on it just kind of adds a little something also helps with moisturization but I also think it looks great when I have a full face of makeup on too. So just a big fan of this product. I know a lot of you have left in the comments that you have panned it. So definitely making me feel super positive about panning it. And I think we're just going to continue to see great progress here. Like I said, I feel like we're nearing halfway and we're just continuing to see this drop. So super excited about that. Moving on, my Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. I used this one 11 times. I'm very curious to see what the progress clips on this one look like because I feel like it looks exactly the same as it did last month. And maybe it does, but definitely we're like taking off that top layer of product. There really isn't much left in here. This one obviously has been repressed and I gathered most of the product into the center of this pan. So I'm expecting that kind of like once we get through that thicker layer that it's going to start moving really quickly. One of the things I'm a little bit disappointed in is after I repressed it, it's become very powdery. I think that's my fault on how I repressed it. I don't know if I added enough 
of the alcohol to it to make it stay together as it should. It still works fine and obviously it's like staying in the pan so it's not that crumbly but it just when I put my brush in it kicks up a lot of powder so I'm trying to keep it in the pan as much as possible so I'm not wasting any product but I'm hoping that next month we're going to see this looking different than it does now and at that point I think from my like panning experience, when you start seeing visible progress in a repressed product, you're very, very close to being done. All right, next is my e.l.f. setting spray. I used this 10 different times, and this one we are making some great progress on as well. We are down to here, which I'd say is halfway, if not a little bit more than halfway. This product, every time I talk about it, I say how much I like it. I love the mister on this. I love the scent of it. I love how it makes my makeup last, and I really just love the price of it too. It costs $10, so just a big fan of this one. I'm really enjoying using it, which is obviously nice. It's fun to enjoy the products in my project pan. I have talked about that sometimes I roll products in that I don't necessarily love and attempt to try and figure out a way to use them so that I like them, or realize that, hey, like this is never gonna work and potentially declutter it. So that's like another way to think about project panning. Although for this project, I'm mostly working on products that I really do enjoy, which is nice too, because that keeps you interested in using the product. So I am happy on the progress on this product. I definitely think we are going to be seeing this get closer and closer to the bottom over the next couple months. So I think this is another one that will be rolling out. I feel like a few of these will be rolling out at the same time, which is okay. Like we can roll them out at the same time. Usually I like to try and roll something out like on a monthly or bi-monthly basis so I stay motivated to keep working, but I feel like all of these, not all of these, but a few of these are going to be hitting empties at the same time, which that will be a very exciting update for all of you and of course me. I also used my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light 10 times. This one, <laughs> I feel like you still cannot see any progress. I was looking at it a little bit today and there is starting to see a dip up here. I'm hoping that that continues to grow, but this one is just, it's a tough product. I mean, you're definitely getting your money's worth out of this, so I can't really complain. It is an expensive product, but it is lasting forever. That's what a lot of you have said in the comments too who have panned these before, that it just takes a really long time. So I can't really complain about that because I love how this makes my skin look and the fact that I paid a decent amount for it. I would hate for it to be used up really fast. Although sometimes when you have a panning mindset, you're like, why am I not seeing progress? But we are a little bit and I'm sure I'll see something on the weight. So that also keeps me motivated seeing the weight drop. And yeah, I just really enjoy this one. I'm so happy it's in this project because I'm wearing it more than I've ever worn it before. And I just really feel like it makes my skin look so nice, which is, you know, what it's meant to do. But I just really, I'm really enjoying it. And then the last product that I've been working on is my Avon eyeliner. I used this seven times this month and we're definitely seeing progress on this one as well. I believe I sharpened it once and it's just getting so, so tiny. So just continuing to work on this and I weighed all of these products today and today it weighed 0.9 and I remember it weighing, I'm, and I'm not sure if it was at the beginning of this project or when I was working on it last year, but it weighing like over one gram. And so I'm like, we're making progress. It's actually happening. So we will see on that if we continue to make progress. I'm wearing this liner today. I'm wearing it on my waterline and on my tight line. I try to wear it as much as I possibly can, although I don't always wanna have a black liner on. So that's why the uses are at seven instead of higher. But I'm definitely trying to make as much of an effort as I can to incorporate this into my makeup looks. I do really like the way a liner looks on my waterline. I've always really liked that that's always been something I've enjoyed it's interesting when I was younger and they'd always ask the question of like what's the one product that you couldn't live without like back in the day it was an eyeliner like this it's so funny to me to think about it now but like in my freshman year of college I like would get ready to go to like the dining commons sometimes my version of getting ready was black liner in my waterline and then like a brown shadow on my lids. But like, I didn't know about cliches. I didn't really know about blending. I didn't wear mascara. I didn't wear mascara, in, I think, until my second half of my freshman year of college, which is so crazy to me. I didn't wear foundation. Like, I really didn't know what I was doing with makeup until I discovered YouTube my senior year of college. And that was the end of my senior year of college. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I, you know, came obsessed and here I am filming videos about makeup and it's like one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I love it, I love it so much. But it's just so funny of like where you start and like what was important to you back then and you know how things have changed. I still love the look of a liner in my waterline, but it is definitely not the one piece of makeup that I would 
keep if I <laughs> if I only had to keep one piece of makeup. Life's a funny thing, but that is my update for this month. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video and getting to see the progress that I've made on these products. Like I said, I think over the next couple months we're gonna see some empties at the same time for a few of these, but I'm gonna continue chugging away working on these and I hope all of you come back to my next update. Hopefully we will hit an empty if not next month, in the following month and roll in some new products. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below how your project pans are doing and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.